Hey guys, how is it going? This video is for those who haven't finished their weekly missions yet because they are chaotic like me, or simply didn't have much time. And since a task like making marksman kills seems to reoccur after a while in the weekly missions, I thought I'd make a video for now but also for later, so you know how to do it. So what we are going to cover in this video is not only what marksman kills are, but also a super easy method especially for beginners which you can use to make your marksman kills within 5 minutes or less, without any problems. Without wasting more time, let's get started. So first, what are marksman kills and how can you achieve them? The concept itself is relatively old, maybe some of you remember Battlefield 4, where a marksman bonus was already part of the game. But it still works the same, you get rewarded when you get a headshot kill at a long distance. In Battlefield 2042 a long distance means 200 meters or more. But it is important that it is a headshot kill, kills through body shots won't count for the marksman bonus. So this means grab your favorite ghillie suit and sniper rifle and go hunting. But for those of you who prefer a close and personal play style or simply don't have much experience with the game or playing as a sniper in general, here's a method to get you through this as fast as possible. For this purpose I created a portal server which you can use to get all the marksman kills you need. The server has moderate XP so you can finish weekly missions on it. Generally speaking it's a modified version of Rush on the Map, Manifest, and I will tell you in a second why this is important. On the server you're playing against 32 PvP bots while your own team only consists of you and 3 other players, so you can also play with some of your friends if you like. You can host it with the following experience code. But if 32 bots are too much, I also created a variant with only 16 opponents, which you can host with the following experience code. To host a server, select Portal in the Battlefield 2042 main menu and navigate to Host. Here you have to navigate to Experience Code to enter it. After doing so, a template version of the server appears which you can further customize. But you can leave it as it is, the only thing you might want to set is a server password in case you don't want other players to disturb you on your server, because after hosting, your server will be visible in the public server browser for everyone else. The round duration is by default set to 60 minutes, which should be more than enough to score all marksman kills you need. But in case you want to restart the server, simply select Admin in the Start menu and select Restart Map. Alright, so how does the method work? Your default spawn point will be close to one of the two large cranes which you can see here. The one that should interest you is the rear one, which is further away. The higher distance is important because then it is more likely to score marksman kills but you are also more difficult to hit by enemy bots. And since you are probably the only one or one of a handful of players on the server, a lot of them will only shoot at you. Also choosing this crane is important because this one has wenches which you can use to get to the top level of the crane. Once you reach the top level, go to the right as long as you can. Normally you can't walk completely to the end since the map restricts you, but try to get as far to the right as possible. And before I forget it, to avoid running short on ammo or dying because you got shot too often, it's best to select Angel as specialist for this job. Because with him you have unlimited ammo and by equipping a medical crate you can also heal yourself, so the only thing you have to worry about is making kills. Now you can make use of two specific AI behaviors. The first one is that the enemy bots won't stray too far from the both MCOMs, since they are programmed to protect them and stay close to them. So in the following you don't have to be afraid that some of them will climb onto your crane, you can fully focus on your weekly mission. The second behavior of the enemy AI which you can make use of, is how they revive fallen teammates. Because whenever a teammate gets killed nearby, the enemy AI will directly try to revive this one, no matter how often you shot this one before. While reviving, they kneel down and hold still for 1 or 2 seconds. This time span should be enough so you can aim for their head and take them out with a headshot. But in case you were too slow or missed a shot, don't worry, because the bot which got revived shortly before has low health and can be taken out with one more shot. You don't necessarily have to take him out with the headshot again, a body shot will do it as well. Also revived bots will stay in a prone position for a moment, which you can use to your advantage to take them out. Afterwards more bots will approach to revive the fallen one, which you can also take out as I showed you before. 
But if you want to be absolutely sure that an enemy is 200 meters or more away, just spot this one by aiming at him and pressing Commoros. The distance to the enemy then will be displayed. All in all, with this method you will get all the marksman kills you need in under 5 minutes. And that's about it, if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks like this. You guys are the best, and I'll see you on the battlefield.